Oh no. Is that the same girl? She walked all that way to the end? She walked all that way? Oh no, why is she moving so fast? Bro. Oh, heck no, I'm running inside. What is your cause? Please enlighten our audience. What do you want? Alright y'all, I'm back with another Bang of the Yai Young Boys today, man. And hey man, I'm back with another special reaction video for y'all young boys today, man. Sorry y'all, as y'all can see, I'm in the Halloween spirit. I got my Batman costume on. Look at the fit, look at the fit, you know what I'm saying? I look kind of official, look at the details and everything. So my plan is to sit there when it actually comes Halloween weekend and everything, you know, everyone doing a little drinking and bar hopping and stuff like that. I'm actually going to put more muscles underneath the suit, so I'm going to sit there and get a bodysuit and all that other stuff. So I think it's going to look even cooler, and I'm going to sit there and do like ripped effect and put blood and all this other stuff on and make it look like I'm a battle damage Batman. I hope it goes well, bro, but this is what it looks like so far. One more time. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool so far. It looks cool. It don't look too bad. I got a little mask and everything, man. Hey, man, let me know what y'all think of my costume in the comments and everything, man. So, alright, y'all. Today we got Pleasant Inn by David Romero. Hmm. Not gonna lie, y'all. I've been in a little rabbit hole with David Romero videos, and he's been doing a really, really great job of telling, like, really, really scary stories. And I can't wait to get into the video, y'all. But, alright, y'all. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all new, y'all. Let's get into Pleasant Inn. And a big thing I like about David Romero's videos is there don't be no audio. There don't be like no voice acting or nothing like that either. But he still play. He still tells a very, very scary and compelling story every single time. I think the fact that no one's talking to you like I am makes it even scarier. You know what I'm saying? The heck was that? Y'all saw that, right? See, this part of horror movies that always mess me up, right? So you see someone on the side of the road just standing there, right? I guess the good person thing would to be to stop and everything. But me personally, I've seen too many scary movies in this scenario. I'm not stopping. I'm sorry. I'm not stopping unless I see someone chasing you or something like that. Maybe I stop. I might. I'm kinder than what I give myself credit for. But otherwise, I don't know if I could do it, y'all. <laughs> y'all. I don't know if I could stop, man. I really don't know if I have the kindness and the patience to sit there and stop for someone getting chased like that or like walking up to me like that, man. I, I don't know. Let me know if y'all will stop, man. And she just let them like unlock they she unlocked the door and just let them walk. Oh no, she locked the door. I'm about to say. I thought she unlocked the door. I was about to let them just creep up in there. I'm glad she had enough sense to keep driving. And why she look so tired though? Like she looks like she's gassed. Pleasant M. I've never heard a good story about someone like staying at an inn. You know what I'm saying? Every single I've seen someone like stay at a motel or something like that, it's always super shady, dirty, cheap. It's cheap, but it's shady, dirty, and always something like weird happens there. You don't look too crazy in there though. But we already know this is a David Romero film, so we already know something messed up gonna happen. Hope she survives though. Whatever happens. She looks nice. In real life, it'd be a crackhead right there. That would have been a crackhead instead of like a normal lady. Just sitting there just casually indulging in their substance of choice. Or 
or it would have been like some crazy shady dude just sitting there just shuffling back and forth pacing. Is she about to sleep with a wrist tie? Me personally, I can't do that. It's because of my circulation and stuff. I can't really do that, man. Oh, no. Is that the same girl? She walked all that way to the end? She walked all that way? Oh no, why is she moving so fast? Bro. Oh, heck no, I'm running inside. Oh my gosh, she got cooked. She got cooked, oh my gosh. Oh, your door locked, shorty. Wait. What'd she do? Fudge, no! You know what? I like her. Oh my god! Oh my god, what is that? Is that part centipede or something? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh, poor girl. She was so nice. She was so nice. She seemed like she was a decent, nice girl. Man, yeah. And you know what? I like I'm like the MC so right so far. Cause she got common sense. Like people be trying to call their friends, say, Oh my gosh, I need help. I need you don't know what to do. Call the cops, don't call me. Boop! I would have hung up on you. Don't call me for some more support. Don't call me to sit there and come through. Call the cops. Call me afterwards. Call the cops first, then call me. I'm glad she got some common sense because most people don't be having no common sense in these, in these scenarios. Oh, she's humping the window. She's humping the window. Oh, fudge. Oh my gosh, she got common sense. Yeah, he got the doohickey. It's the musket tool. Oh, he's cooked though. That's sh oh my god, it's fast. He hit it though. He got aim. He had aim though. I ain't gonna lie. Homie, homie tried. He, he tried for real. Oh, he got cooked. He probably wearing his head now. I think it kills people and it takes your head right afterwards or something, man. Yeah, buddy got cooked. He tried though. I'd be scared to be hiding in my back seat or something, man. You gotta check that back seat as soon as you hop in, man. Oh, she hit the dash. Clever girl. Oh my gosh, she she clutched up in that situation. What is that thing, man? What is that thing, man? Wait, so it's just... Oh my god! What is this thing? It's just hopping and cutting people's heads off and hopping in their body? Like, what the heck? I'm glad she survived though. Bro, she probably so traumatized. She probably left all her belongings. I don't blame her though, cause I'd be dang and I get cooked right there. And us all. Oh. Oh my God! So it's a cycle. So basically, what happens is. It it, it, it it cuts people heads off, takes their body, I guess it takes their head too. It looks like the, he, the, it mixes and matches with people and stuff like that. Then it sits there and, and tricks 
uh, people just stopping and maybe picking it up here and there. And then, like, if you don't, you don't pick it up, it follows you all the way where you gotta go. And then it sits there and just murders everything else and continues to cycle and everything. Hey, this is a crazy little, it's a crazy little horror movie, man. This is a horror movie, a great idea right here, man. He conveyed a great story in just under, like, what, eight minutes? That's insane. That's very horrifying, though. Like, she got lucky, he seems like. Cause that thing is strong, it's fast. Man, I would love to see like a series or like a whole movie about this creature right here. And them trying, like a, a cast of people trying to fight this thing. A cast of people, like maybe some college kids or something like that, having like a little road trip or party or something like that. And this demon or monstrosity sitting there just going after people, cutting off their heads and all types of stuff. And just, it'd be a great movie, bro. And I love how YouTube people can sit there and just independently do crazy stuff like this because the problem with hollywood is they try to do the safe route bro they don't want to test the boundaries they don't want to sit there and just experiment and do crazy stuff which is personally why i like horror movies because i think horror movies are like the most versatile and what hollywood is like willing to give the most risk with you know what i'm saying so i love i love david romero's stuff so far man i know it's old this is probably like what seven years old or something like that this probably this been out for a while but this dude be cooking. Like, everything I've seen so far from this dude, bro, like, it genuinely has me on the edge of my seat, bro. Now, I, I hope, and I don't think he posted for a little while, man. I don't think he posted at all recently. But, I, yeah, this happened five years ago. I don't think he released anything really new recently. But I really, really hope that, like, one day he comes back and starts just dropping bangers again and all this stuff. Because this is crazy. This is absolutely insane that he sat there, um... And made something like this, man. Like it, it's crazy. I, I would love to see like, like mo a movie out of this or something, man. It was genuinely terrifying. And I, I love this video. I, I hope he comes back and does some more, man. But all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all new, y'all. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.